Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Here, we're going to solve an inequality and then we're going to represent that solution on the number line. So the inequality is that 8x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 29. Now, if you haven't seen something like this before, it may be a good idea if you think about the related equation. So we would simply write down, instead of greater than or equal to, just equals. So that would mean that the equation would be 8x plus 5 is equal to 29. So if you think about what you would do to solve that, you would subtract 5 from both sides. So you'd have that 8x is 24. And then you would divide both sides by 8. So x is equal to 3. And you would check your answer by multiplying 8 by your answer, so 8 times 3, 24, plus 5 is 29, so that's the right answer. Now when you're looking at an inequality, you do more or less the same kind of thing. You can do the same to both sides, but you do need to be careful if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative. If you do want to do that, then you would need to change the direction of the inequality. Anyway, let's write down this inequality. So we've got 8x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 29. So we can subtract 5 from both sides. So 8x must be greater than or equal to 29 minus 5, so that's 24. And then dividing both sides by 8, we're dividing by a positive number, so that's not going to change the direction of the inequality. We've got x is greater than or equal to 3. So you can see that if you can solve the related equation, solving the inequality is just a simple, really. But when it comes to checking it, there are two checks to do. You would check for 3, so 8 times 3 plus 5 is equal to 29. So let's just write that down. So when x equals 3, we've got that 8 times 3 plus 5 equals 29. And then, because we found that x is either equal to 3 or greater than 3, we're going to choose any value that we like greater than 3. So you could choose 4, 9.2, 100, 10 million, whatever you like. But it's easier, obviously, to choose a relatively small number. So let's just choose 4 and see what we get. So 8 times 4 plus 5, putting the... Uh, the value for x into the original left-hand side, so 8x plus 5 is 8 times 4 plus 5, so that's 32 plus 5, so that's going to be 37. And that is greater than 29. So that's showing us that it looks like we have got the correct answer. Whereas if we had checked x equals 2, for example, we would expect that not to work, because 2 is less than 3, and in fact that would be the case, wouldn't it? Because 8 times 2 is only 16, and when we add 5 to that, we get uh, 21, which is less than 29. So we're doing two checks to check that we've got the inequality the right way round. We've got greater than or equal to 3 rather than less than or equal to 3. OK, so that's the solution, and then we, not, we want to show the answer on the number line. So we're starting off at x equals 3. So we draw a circle at x equals 3. And because x can be equal to 3, we want to shade in that circle. And then we want the rest of the number line to be shaded in. If you're using pencil and your pencil mark can't be seen on the number line, what you could do is draw just above the number line. So shade in your 3 and then draw your line like that. So that's all you need to do to represent all the values that solve this inequality anything to the right of 3 on that number line, and we've included 3.